to spike it once again. It's the, look like the fake spike Dan Marino play for a moment, and now a flag is thrown. Intentional grounding. Offense. Lost it down. Oh, ten second runoff. Wow. At the end of the game. So a 10-second runoff, intentional grounding penalty because Haney did not spike it immediately. Took a couple of steps back, tried the fake, then spiked it, and his call for intentional grounding. 10-second runoff. The ball game is over. What an ending. Unbelievable. Raiders win it 25-20. We'll return to Oakland right after these messages. They gained 24 yards. They have yet to convert a third down. Listen to that crowd. Rossman from his own end zone. Did he get rid of it in time? Safety. Boy, this just comes with experience. A young guy in that situation going up against a Monty Kiffin defense. You have to anticipate blitz, pressure, and sure enough, the Bucks bring it here. JP's not able to avoid the rush. Jermaine Phillips takes a good angle. JP inadvertently steps out. Thanksgiving Day game. Will it go in the win column to Dallas or Miami? Stojanovic will decide it as he will try this field goal, which will be 40 yards. 40 yards. Doug Peterson to hold. Blocks. The Cowboys will win. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where was in the end zone? No one covered it. Touchdown if Miami has covered it. A Dallas player touched the ball and then the Dolphins went on and recovered it. It's on the one yard line. It's not in the end zone. It's in the one yard line. They're going to sort it out. And there's three seconds left on the clock. 92. Tolbert gets his hand up in the air and knocks the ball. No, it's not 92. It's 97. Jimmy now, Jones. Now someone touches the football here. Watch what happens. It's Leon left. No! Oh, Lett, who is haunted by a Super Bowl misplay, and the ball goes into the end zone. They say it was touched at the one-yard line. The field goal was touched beyond the line by the receiving team. The kicking team then recovered the ball in the field of play and slid into the end zone. However, since the ball was still a kick, it's down when the, the kicking team recovered the ball. The kicking team gets awarded the ball at the spot in the field of play, first down. And the Dolphins, as if they received an early holiday present, cheer on the sidelines. Thinking about running one He took play. the knee, though. They just He took the knee. He did so take now the it's going to run out. He did not spike he the ball. He didn't spike it. He took the knee. And a flag is down. They have butchered this. I'm not sure on two occasions Kirk Cousins did not spike the football. Yeah, that's the end of the half. He took a knee instead of spiking it. Philadelphia is running off the field. This is bizarre. What's the thought process here? Spike the ball. He had a brain freeze. Yeah, that was... Quarterback, kneel down. Let's play the clock, continue to run. The half is over. That's it. Practice all those throws. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now we've got, on a fourth down and three, you got Griff Whalen ready to take the snap. He'll snap it. Actually, Colt Anderson is behind him. And what in the world? Flag is down. You tell me. I thought maybe they were going to try and get him to jump off sides. Illegal formation. 
The whole right side of the line was not on the line of scrimmage. Offense. This penalty is declined. The result of the play is first down for New England. There is absolutely no way possible that they should have snapped that ball and tried to sneak it. There were three, four, five guys around two players. That was insane. I mean, you got a guy on either side of them. What are you doing here? I mean, they don't even try to run a play. Williams, Calvin Johnson, two of their biggest players. Third and ten. Here comes Jared Allen, and he's out of bounds. Poor guy. I don't even know if he realized it. And that's a safety. Well, so much for me calling him savvy because he had no idea where he's on the field. Tough situation, but you just can't do that. You have to realize, and you can see him. He didn't even know he was out of bounds. Tough situation for a young quarterback, but you always got to be aware, Ron. Producer Peter Rudman. Those four guys, first and ten catcher. Oh, he's out of the end zone. He is out of the end zone. Wow. Just not knowing where you're at on the field. I mean, you got to throw this thing away. I mean, he's clearly out of the back of the end zone. Well, years ago, we talked to Tom Moore, then at Indianapolis, the offensive coordinator. You got a busted play here, and then, oh, no. and then Sanchez gets hit. The ball is loose, and it's alive. I have never seen this before in my life. Watch this. Vince Wilfork is going to throw Brandon Moore back into his quarterback. He's going to fumble the football. This is what Reggie White used to do to people forklift them and just lift them off the ground. Mark Sanchez not expecting it, and it was the backside of Brandon Moore that knocked the ball out. Hayward is back there to knock it down. Ryan Allen to punt it. Benjamin circles. Benjamin in trouble. Oh, what a bad decision by Benjamin. That's you. We'll see him when they get the ball back. He's a bit, he has been in the game as Collins. Dabber, nice job of finding something. And no, Quentin no, no, Patton no. making the grievous mistake no. of this is the NFL. That didn't work. No, no, no. Not only did he reverse field, but then really started retreating, running back towards the 49er goal line. Jackson desperate to get going to the 16. Not much room trying to make a lot happen here. Big circle back by Jackson, trying to pick up blocks, oh. and he lost the football, and it's recovered by the punter, Jones. He's got some skills now at the 26. Palmer over the middle. Nice grab there by Moore again at the 20-yard line. Gets up and runs the wrong way. <laughs> I think he kind of lost his place on the field. What was that, Roy, Roy Riggles? Wrong way, Riggles? Yeah, Remember Jim him? Marshall. Rose Bowl, Jim Marshall, yeah. Good route crossing the face of Chris Harris. And then you go the other way. <laughs> Stops, throws, completes it to Kilmer up at the 30-yard line. Kilmer driving for the first down, loses the football. It's picked up by Jim Marshall, who's running the wrong way. Marshall is running the wrong way. And he's running it into the end zone the wrong way. Thinks he scored a touchdown. He has scored a safety. Saints have not scored on their opening drive all season long. And now third and ten. Brooks in trouble. And throws it backwards. This is a live ball. Back there to pick it up is Deuce McAllister. Still on his feet and tackled all the way back at the 21-yard line. What in the world happened there? What, what a mental error by Aaron Brooks. He feels a lot of pressure and he just turns and throws the ball backwards. And the thing is, it, it was a lineman back there. It wasn't even a running back. You can see he's going to feel a lot of pressure here. He's just going to turn around and throw the ball. I think it's Wayne Gandy right there. And he's like, who are you throwing it to? And heads up play by Deuce McAllister to go back and get on that ball because that's a live ball. That's a lateral. Including Hakeem, who has come in the sixth. Orton going deep. He's got Watkins. And buckle up. There he goes. And Hakeem brings him down. First and goal, Buffalo. Well, this is the same route they just missed a little bit earlier. You see him, he just goes right by Darren Walls. And this is unfortunate. Watch him at the end here. He begins to showboat and he eases up a little bit. He never feels mm -hmm. Hakeem. 37-yard line, Brady stepping up. Deep that field, wide open, Brandon Cooks. And he gets smacked down at the 40-yard line, taking some shot there by Jenkins who is spinning around and he is down.
after a 23 yard game. This is this route here coming back out. But as he came out and caught the ball, a little disoriented, turned around, looped back around, and never saw Malcolm Jenkins. And that definitely was a little helmet-to-helmet -helmet on that hit. Mm -hmm. 